Wow! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> so, and now I'm not fucking. Broadcasting from the Pepsi Center. We've got some terrific NBA action in store for you today. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg. And the front court matchup, definitely Clark one to watch. It could be a battle of wills tonight in this one. I agree with you there. They both got tremendous skill. But it comes down to the mentality. And I'm interested to see who actually wins the battle of wills, asserts himself the most and most consistent. Sometimes it is the battle more than just what you got talent-wise. It's what you're thinking upstairs, your focus, and how you approach it. Yeah, the mentality. And sometimes being physical starts with your mentality. Now the Lakers starting group. Davis is out there with Kyle Kuzma. And it's Green. Then there's Howard. And it's James in at the one spot. Now here's James. 18 feet out. It's hauled in by Harris. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. Barton outside. Millsap in the corner. Hits it from three-point range. Millsap's got the first three points of the night up on the board for the Nuggets. And now we'll go to David Aldridge, who had a chance to talk with Coach Mike Malone. Right, Kevin. When he talked about this game plan, he said the other team is just too fast to make this an up-and-down battle. He said if this is a half-court game, we win. And if it's a fast-break game, they win. Kevin? Thank you, David. And they pick up two. Man, you got to respect and appreciate how polished LeBron is inside. I mean, he really excels at creating opportunities for himself close to the rim. And you know, last year the Denver Nuggets were dominant from behind the arc. I mean, sixth in the league in three-pointers made, seventh in three-point percentage. Now LeBron following the three-point attempt by Jamal Murray. Davis setting the pick for James. There's the pass to Davis. Yep, that one goes. Davis has got his first two points. And, you know, got to admire the patience inside from Davis. Outstanding at staying under control, taking his time, and burying the quality shot. Now here is Harris. Right wing. Murray kicks to Jokic. Shot clock at six. Over Green. And he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. <laughs> you don't see that too often, the fadeaway shot when he's wide open. LeBron James on the wing. Goes to the reverse layup and drops it in. LeBron's got his second basket of the game. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Zap dishes to Harris. Murray outside. Martin from outside. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. James against Murray. Bobbed up there for Howard. Throws down the alley oop slam. Great reach that time by Howard. He went way upstairs to throw that one down. Can pretty much get any pass that's around the goal. Is Murray as to Jokic over Howard at the end of one a closely contested game so far Lakers lead by three from the Pepsi Center in down Lakers leading by three well in case anybody doubted it the Lakers are still the premier destination for free agents I mean LA is LA Historically, the Lakers have done a good job making the most of the attraction of playing in L.A. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Denver. Beasley is out there at Morris. Then there's Plumlee. Then it's Porter. And it's Grant in at the power forward. 
And the Lakers will seemingly always be a player in free agency. Well, I think a big part of it is the appeal of the city and the glamour that comes with being in L.A. and not to mention the historical greatness of the franchise. I mean, the Lakers are a unique organization, not just in the NBA, but I think in all the sports. The defense not putting up any fight on the inside. They've allowed 10 straight points in the paint. That's not the kind of streak you want to be part of defensively. Tighten it up, fellas. And he's good on the three ball. Porter's got his second bucket of the night. And a smooth shooting stroke off the catch. Porter clearly excels in those situations. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. In an effort to protect the players, games are called. Well, some have nicknamed center Nikola Jokic the Joker, and he does have a lighthearted approach. He said, this is not a job. I'm enjoying the game like a game of pickup basketball in my hometown. That's the mentality. No pressure. It's just a game. He feels that staying calm can succeed. Devin? Thanks, DA. Now here is Howard. Out to Kuzma. Davis with a screen on port. Six to shoot. Kuzma passes to Davis. Put on the bucket. Having now been a head coach for five full years, two years with the Kings, three with the Nuggets, Malone's had his fill of inexperienced rosters and has done a reasonably good job with them. Here's Beasley following the basket by Anthony Davis. There's the screen. Beasley, the pass to Bull. Inside and stolen by Howard. Kuzma inside. Guarded by Porter, and he comes up with the deuce. And I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. If they play it right, we're talking a two-for-one. Well, you're maximizing your possessions. That's the critical thing here, and you've got to make sure the timing is right, though. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. And he has really come to life here after a slow start in that first quarter. Cook kicks to Howard. Davis sets a screen. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. To me, this is Howard's specialty. This is his bread and butter thing here. We all know this guy loves to throw it down whenever he can. He's pretty good at it. Morris passes to Porter. Four seconds left. Shoots over Kuzma. Used the shot bank to create the angle, but couldn't get it to fall. And so it's Los Angeles. Bernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal. A competitive matchup for the Lakers in the first quarter. They never trailed by more than three points, and it was neck and neck the entire period. Looking at the Lakers, Kenny, what did you see from them? They were really efficient on offense. Shared the basketball well, great shot selection. That accounted for a high field goal percentage in the first half. And you, big fella, let's get your thoughts on the Nuggets. Well, on offense, I'd like to see them play inside out more. Attack the basket, generate easy points. And then once the defense collapses, kick it out to the perimeter for open looks. Trust me, I know. Rick Fox, big shot Bob, that's all we did. So for the Lakers right now, Anthony Davis is out there with help. And it's LeBron James, and it's Green, and it's Kuzma, and at the small four. And really, even at this stage of his career, James just seems ageless. He continues to dominate night in and night out. LeBron signing a four-year deal with the Lakers. Greg, many speculated it might happen, but it was still a shock to many. It makes sense from LeBron's standpoint. Son plays in L.A. for high school. LeBron has a lot of business interests as well. And also what's interesting is that when LeBron's contract ends, his son could potentially be coming into the NBA as a rookie. makes the first. That one is no good. 
And the Denver Nuggets look at their improvement last year, Clark, especially on their home court. Yeah, you know, they owned the NBA's fourth best home record last season, Kevin. Went 31 and 10. And, you know, some of it obviously is the altitude, but also when you've got younger players, they play better at home because they're not quite emotionally mature enough to be consistent on the road yet. Martin kicks to Murph. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. To the middle. Here's Davis and finished off by Davis. And I'll tell you what, guys. I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. Murray, the pass to Jokic. They set the screen. He'll set the screen. And it's stolen by Green. And oh, here we go with Green. Nobody back. Here's Howard. And it's slammed in by Howard. And, and Howard's still a forceful finisher around the rim. 144 left in the third quarter. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nugget Motions. Uh, very prominently on their sleeve. Others take the calm, cool approach as a player. Was there a particular style that you prefer? Yeah, my preference was cool, calm, be direct, be firm, but not necessarily overly emotional. And in my short stint with the Pacers, Jack McKinney was more of the cool and calm approach. He was excitable, but a little bit even killed. George was a little more emotional, but still, I, I enjoyed playing for both of them because I think I was clear in that they were trying to get the best out of me and the best out of the team. Good way to look at it. And it's Davis missing. The Nuggets trail by 11. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Barton kicks to Harris. Just four to shoot. Looking to end the drought. Griezmann pulls it in. Lakers leading by 11. Passes it to James. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. LeBron's got seven. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. Denver's gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Three-second difference between shot clock and game. Here's Caruso. He's covered by Murray. Caruso, the pass to LeBron. Kuzma sets a screen. Outside for Davis. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got his third assist on the night. And stolen by Kuzma. One second left. No good. Shot missing. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their defense has been terrific joining us. Let's see what happens here in the fourth. The Nuggets trail by 15. We've got Plumley. Morris is out there with Beasley. And it's Nikola Jokic. And it's Grant in at the three. The small forward. That's the group on the floor for Denver. Morris. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up. And two shots coming up. You know, we're over a year now into the magic era of the Lakers front office. And magic showed no hesitation shaking things up with trades. And I think he also did a solid job in the draft as well. throw good for Morris and this Lakers front office I think almost every fan Clark would be pleased with the job they've done I agree I mean they didn't have a ton to work with and made the right moves I mean yeah there were a couple of bumps along the way but still ended up landing some outstanding free agents and Morris drops them both Lakers leading by 13. 
to the paint. James in the post. Working on Plumley. LeBron shot is off. And you can see the defender's afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. You know, he can be a little hesitant near the rim. We saw it there. If the defense offers just a little bit of resistance, he doesn't take it up quite strong enough. His ability to create is a big part of what makes LeBron so effective that there's no way to defend him in the open floor. Count it. Just such a well-rounded offensive player. He's got a little bit of everything. The Lakers shooting an unreal 70% for the field, making a mockery of this defense. And the refs are going to rule that unnecessary contact. It's a flagrant one foul. And Kevin, I gotta tell you, he's probably fortunate to just get a flagrant one there. I mean, so much contact. The officials easily could have gone even harder on it. Greg, I agree. He better be on his best behavior from now on. One more flagrant of any variety, and he's out of here. Now, gentlemen, two shot. Two shot. First one at the line is good. And the Denver Nuggets, this is a team, Clark, that's slowly building for the future. 46 wins last season, Kevin. The most they've had in five years, coming up just six points short of making the playoffs. And this is a team that's hungry. And they're starting to believe in themselves, too. Porter's checked in for Jeremy Grant. And then for the Lakers, Davis comes in for Avery Breath. And Kyle Kuzma is subbed in for Rajon Rondo. Play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. And that's a foul called on Malik Beasley. That's his first foul. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. Out to Kuzma. Second shot opportunity. Davis with a screen on Morris. Davis sets a screen. Morris against LeBron. Davis the pass to James. Just five on the clock. He trains it as the shot clock ticks down. And always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a D that was reluctant to get in his way. He silenced this crowd with an unreal display. His ability to drown out the noise and the hostility of an opposing crowd is pretty special. He just jumps so fast. I mean, give Porter a chance to dunk, and he doesn't think twice about it. LeBron kicks to Green, pass to Kuzma. There's the three, drills the three-pointer. And, and that's a killer instinct on display as they try to put this one on ice. And, you know, this is what's needed at this point in the game, Greg. The great teams know how to close it out. And Denver has possession following the three by the Lakers. Plumlee with a screen on LeBron. Morris dishes to Beasley. There's a screen. Over green. A shot missing. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Morris against James. Screen by Howard. Green the pass to Kuzma. Kept alive. Green against Beasley. Back to Kuzma. Outside, Green. James outside. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight, and that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.